Hey, my name is Yannis Gert. Once we are here in Savannah, America, let me give you an update on what has been happening in the American biogas market. We've flown back here to CCL headquarters to break down the latest developments that have been happening in the US biogas market. Having attended the American events now for two years, I've gathered my own personal opinion of the market as well as the information I've gathered over the period. So to help put things into perspective, I will showcase the facts as well as information which I have gathered myself in this video. So let's go straight into it. The American market is growing at a steady rate. As you can see, a steady incline in the amount of projects being built in the US market is shown on the following graph provided by American Biogas Council. US has more than 2,400 sites producing biogas in all 50 states, 598 anaerobic digesters on farms, 1,120 water resource recovery facilities using anaerobic digester, 110 standalone systems that digest food waste, and 574 landfill gas projects representing more than 40 billion of capital investment. For comparison, Germany has nearly 10,000 operating digesters and some communities are essentially fossil fuel free because of them. Policy advocation is a massive focus at the moment. Education awareness and a push for policy is being strongly worked on to help incentivize governments, investors and developers. The ABC is currently pushing for state policies like renewable gas standards, organics, recycling laws, low carbon fuel standards and biogas electricity incentives in select states to support the biogas industry. There is a market for biogas. This might sound like a straightforward statement, but let's dive into why it's so significant. Americans produce approximately 103 million tons of food waste each year. This amount is significantly higher than 9.5 million tons produced by the UK and more than 88 million tons produced by the entire European Union, making the United States one of the largest producers of food waste in the world. Now imagine the massive facilities required to process such enormous quantities of food waste. And that's just the food waste. We haven't even started talking about waste generated by dairy farms and another agricultural activities. Biogas production offers promising solutions to manage these substantial waste streams while generating renewable energy. By harnessing this potential, we can address waste management challenges and move towards a more sustainable future. This isn't as simple as building a site and expecting results. An infrastructure for food waste collection needs to be firstly built for this to work. If you can see the dairy as well, then we are talking about ridiculous amount of biogas production, with farms having over 50,000 cows, I personally can't imagine how much feedstock there is currently available. Now there is no denial that there is movement or that there is a huge potential. From the conversations I've had with the people on the ground is that it isn't going as it's being perceived. And I believe this is due to a few things are currently going wrong. One of them being the potential outweighing a realistic approach. I mean that there is optimism from developers wanting to build 15 to 20 sites in one go. Now, although this isn't realistic, I believe that with the stage that America is at, it should take the time to design, develop and operate three to four plants successfully. Now, although this goes against American culture of going big, it would see much more results if only there was more let's do one and let's do it properly attitude. So what can we learn about US biogas market? There is growth and there is going to be sites that are going to be built over the next 20 years. Although projected by ABC that there is potential for growth counting 15,000 site developments today, 8,600 dairy, poultry and swine farms, 4,000 water resource recovery facilities, 2,000 food scrap only systems, there is still yet unforeseen strategy which is going to get US to those figures. Although I do believe that there will be a massive boom, it will only be under the conditions that policy advocacy is going to be strongly pushed by the associations mentioned above. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, feel free to share this with someone in the industry who will enjoy it too. I see you on the next one.